Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection, the Target exclusive set of the Ninjetti or Ninja Rangers. Uh, this is the Mighty Morphin Ninja Black Ranger, Mighty Morphin Ninja Blue Ranger, Mighty Morphin Ninja Pink Ranger, and Mighty Morphin Ninja White Ranger. So these are all Target exclusives. First, we saw the White Ranger start to pop up in stores, or at least here around here. Then Pink popped up in store, only one store in the entire area got it, and never again, no other stores have gotten it. Mine was actually the pre-order online, so that did end up shipping. I was able to cancel the other three before those shipped out. Uh, so Pink is not really been in stores much here anyway in northern california it's been crazy uh but black and blue just hit at the same exact time here um at my store yesterday so um i haven't reviewed a lot of power rangers figures in fact i have this massive stack on top of my table that has uh, is nothing but power rangers from months and months and months ago that i just haven't gotten around to reviewing um uh i know you guys have said you know i should keep doing them um, but you know the views weren't really there so it didn't really give me the motivation to kind of get to them uh, But these ones are a little bit different. I was very excited when these ones were first announced because um, They remind me of the movie Ninjetti, right the Power Rangers movie um, And there, there's all the issues of can Bandai release the movie figures can Hasbro release movie figures and they kind of have kind of haven't right the Tango Warrior <clears throat> I would say is more movie inspired but it, it could really go either way on if it's TV or not. Uh, these Ninja Rangers, um, I think, are still technically TV-based. However, um, they have movie looks. So I, I believe it's the unmasked look, or I get maybe with the mask. But um, these have a look very similar to the movie. Um, as opposed to the show. Now, the with the, just the eyes exposed, that is something specific to the TV show, and that's how all the artwork um, is based on. That's the head sculpt that's actually on the figure, you know, in package, things like that. Um, but it's 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 debatable on whether you want to go movie or TV show or both or either one. It's completely up to you. I like to think there's a little bit of movie inspiration in there. Um, which I think is pretty cool and I would love to get the movie suits like movie figures I know they're not the greatest, but it's more of a nostalgia classic. Why not? That's kind of cool idea concept, right? But anyway, we have all of the Ninja Rangers. They all have one particular Well, each one actually has a different effect piece, but they all have one effect piece They all have kind of similar hands. They all have the same head sculpts, right? The one with the unmasked head sculpt with the bandana the half mask and then the full mask um, but I'm going to open them all up and we'll kind of go over them all together because black, blue, white, they're the same exact figure. There's not going to be anything different from them. So I could do articulation on one, uh, not the other. Uh, but I will kind of focus on the uh, the unmasked head sculpts because I want to see you know, how they look. I think these are actually better, in my opinion, compared to some of the other ones. So I'm excited to talk about that. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so here are all the Ninja Rangers out of the package. Um, and just to be straight up, these figures kind of suck. And it's super, super disappointing because, damn, I wanted Ninjetti figures, right? I don't know what other figures that may... I mean, there may have been some that came out originally with the show in the movie. Um, but as like an adult collectible line, right? Bandai didn't do them, um, like in the Legacy Collection. Um, so Hasbro did, so super excited, right? Um, and these kind of suck. There's a few different reasons why they suck. Um, and, and I'll get into that. The, the first one, number one reason being the QC issues. Now, Hasbro has been plagued with QC issues with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line since the beginning. Did I think it was that big of an issue? I honestly did not. However, now with the, these Ninja Rangers, it's a real big problem. So when they first started showing up in the UK months and months and months and months and months ago, there was all kinds of issues. Missing heads, swap pieces, broken arms, all kinds of shit like that, right? It was really bad. Um, so now as targets have begun to receive them, shipping out pre-orders and things like that, doesn't seem like there's too many issues, right? There's no missing heads as far as I know yet. Although people were getting Black Rangers instead of White Rangers. They were getting Adam inside of the Tommy box, which was kind of a weird one. Um, but didn't have so many of those issues of missing pieces and broken pieces and things like that. Maybe some broken pieces here and there. The other thing, though, are the paint apps. And they're horrible. Like, if you don't get a chance to see these in store and pick out the best one that you'd like, chances of you getting a good one aren't very good. Now, I got extremely lucky with my Pink Ranger that I really don't have any paint defects or paint flaws or anything like that. I got lucky. These three 
Well, white, I didn't get to pick because I asked the store that had got them. They had them in the back. They pulled out one. It was the one that I got. It wasn't very good. It wasn't terrible. It ended up having a really loose leg, so I ended up exchanging later when I found another one. Paint amps weren't so bad. Uh, black and blue, I got to look at all of the ones that they had at the store. They got case, solid cases of eight of each, so I was able to check over them, and I grabbed the best ones that I thought looked good. I mean, there was one blue, if you follow me on Instagram, you see my story, there was one blue with the masthead that he just had white eyes. They weren't painted. Now, it would be decent for a generic ninja, right? Um, but we're talking actual person in there. You should be able to see his eyes. So there was that. It, it's just it really bad. And then on top of that, these figures really aren't that great. They have terrible elbows. The hips are f horrible on these. Like, really bad. Like, it's a ninja figure. You want these things to really have a crazy amount of posability, especially at the hips, right? These things don't. It sucks. Um, okay, so rant over. It's just really disappointing, man. Now, standing here, they look good. I, I will give it to them. Just like that, they look really good. But it's when you start getting into the other details and things that it, it kind of gets disappointing. Now, accessory, uh, accessory wise, pretty good. You really can't complain. Each figure has fists that are actually come out of the package, and then each one has like one um, straight hand right here, like karate chop hand. And then they each have a different gesturing hand um, for the right hand. So like here, um, here is Kimberly's. So that is her hand. Here is Adams. As you can see there, here is Billy's. And then here is Tommy's. And that's pretty good. And they each have a different like lightning type effect. So Kimberly's is here. So something's supposed to pour it in there. And I think all these accessories have been kind of used before. So um, actually this go, this would be a hand, right? So a hand would fit right in there. Maybe not the hand. Is it supposed to be this hand? Mm, I guess you could use this hand, but I don't know if that works. I mean, that could kind of work, but it's probably, oh yeah, that hand there. So you can kind of, it has like a chopping swoosh effect. So that is pretty cool. Um, Adams is here. I'm not really sure how this one would work. Let's see if this hand, oh, okay. I guess that could kind of work. Actually, is it all gonna be the like karate chop hand type of style? That would slip in the hand right there. So you have that swoosh effect. They're all done in this like pearlescent white color, so that's pretty cool. This one, we've seen, this is similar to like the Marvel Legends like flame effect. They are, are not the same, of course, uh, but it's that similar concept where you would put, you know, the hand would go inside of there. And you could do it, this one's actually made for a fist, so. Actually, the fist doesn't even fit in there nicely as I drop things around. I'm gonna lay Billy down, but that's that's kind of how that's supposed to look there. And then here we have a swoosh effect. I think this is the kicking one. So this one would actually go on a foot. So you would like kick around. Ah, look. Ooh. So you want to be careful with them hit pieces, right? So you can kind of kick around and you have that swoosh effect for the foot. Man, did you... <laughs> I'm glad that hit piece didn't break. But those are like some of the issues with the with these figures. Um, man. So let's get in for a closer look at each of the Rangers so we can see the details. Again, the guys all use the same exact sculpt, so they're going to be the same figures. Uh, but we'll take a look at some of the paint apps, and I'll discuss kind of what some of the ones that I had seen, some of the problems. We'll look at the head sculpts, um, and then we'll go over articulation for Kimberly, and then our, one of the articulations on one of these three guys. Um, I want to try and make it as quick as possible. With four figures, I, I usually talk a hell of a lot, way too much, um, as you can see probably already in this video. Um, but giving you guys some insight, some information on kind of the, this line of figures or this wave, because all of a sudden wave numbers have shifted because of these. Um, it's just weird. So <laughs> let's get in for a closer look. We'll start with Kimberly. We'll go down the line. We'll go pink, black, blue, white. Here we go. Okay, so here is the Ninjetti or Ninja White or Mighty Morphin Ninja Pink Ranger. Um, we have the Pterodactyl Power Coin logo there. That looks pretty good. Actually, not pterodactyl. I'm sorry. That is the crane. I forget. You know, they, they got the new powers. So we got the frog. We got the wolf. And we got the falcon. Right? So this is the... Cr it was the crane, I believe. Right? Yeah. 
looks pretty good. The gold and white paint on my, see I got lucky with my Pink Ranger, it, it came out nicely. So the gold trim there has been sloppy on a whole lot of them. Some of the gold paint here has actually looked pretty good on the majority that I've seen surprisingly. So you get the gold paint right around the white diamonds, the smaller ones are just all gold. And those actually came out looking really good. But, but again, the paint issues aren't really so much with those details. It's usually with the lines here and then the different head sculpts. But yeah, these look pretty good. The gold trim looks good all around. So this one, you can see three diamonds. They didn't. They messed up on the guys, and I guess they just didn't leave enough space. They made the diamonds too big or whatever. They only did two diamonds as opposed to the three. As you can see, they made the diamonds much larger. So in the actual show, they did have three diamonds similar to pink. Does that bother me? It doesn't, but it is technically inaccurate for any of you guys wondering. White sash. This piece here is a rubber overlay. So, you know, it's going to move with the figure and it's going to hinder that articulation in there a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's the Ninja Ranger figure. We're going to pop this head off. I hate these masked head sculpts, by the way. I hate them. I will not be displaying these head sculpts, even though this in the show, this is what it was. Um, I hate it. Um, and then you have this neck collar piece here. I'm going to do this. So we're going to slip that on and then we're going to put the unmasked Kimberly head. So this is this is really how I remember them looking from the movie. Now you guys can correct me if I'm wrong because I think what I had mentioned earlier may be in, inaccurate. Now Kimberly in the show, I think she did get the Ninja Ranger powers, but it was mostly Cat, um, Catherine, and they're actually re-releasing not re-releasing. They are releasing a second Ninja Pink Ranger figure with the Cat head sculpt, which would be kind of cool. Um, for those to get, you know, the full team from the movie or the full team from the show. It's pretty interesting. Um, does this look like the actress? Uh, I think it's okay. I don't think it's terrible. Um, I actually am in the min minority and really liked the unmasked head sculpt that we got before for Kimberly. Um, but, you know, that's just me. But I think it's okay. Now, again, if you get to pick the one that you get, then you're going to be lucky because some of them are really bad. Um, on the head, on the paint, you know, you get some of the paint from the pan, the bandana all over the face, and stuff like that. But you know, I don't really have so much of an issue on mine that way. Okay, and we're gonna pop off the other head sculpt. Man, that one doesn't even want to pop on. Is that because of that? No. Man, that one doesn't even. That one doesn't even really pop on. See, that doesn't look right. You gotta have this on there. But yeah, that does. That's just kind of sitting there. That's not technically on there, like popped on there sturdy or anything. But I think this is probably how I'm gonna display them. I'm not sure yet. I might just do the unmasked bandana head sculpt. But I really do like the way this looks as well. That looks great. So that is pink. Moving on to black. Okay, we have Adam. He is one of my favorite rangers for sure. The Zord was cool. The Frog Zord, oh, it was really cool. You know, setting up the Mega Zord and it was like um, the big body piece and stuff. It was really cool. I loved it. But here, looking at it again, with well, a gold trim is where you would see the most paint defects and everything. Not so much in the diamonds. Those came off just like pink. Came off looking really good. Again, we had talked about the two large diamonds there. These hip pieces suck, by the way, because look how it's kind of forward. You can't really move it back. I feel like I'm just going to, like, stress out the plastic and, like, break it and stuff like that. Just really weird positioning. It doesn't want to move so much. This leg's super loose. Just, like, issue after issue with these guys. It sucks. Arms, like, some. this arm looks further down on that on that shoulder peg. You have to watch out for that because some of these are like real low on the peg, you know, and I don't know if you can kind of get them back on there. So you want to be careful. But frog looks good. Again, I hate these head sculpts. I get it. They're from the show. I think that was to hide the actors so the stunt um, people can, you know, be fully masked. And you can't tell that, oh, hey, wait a second. That's not the actor of Adam. Um, so that, you know, kind of sucks. So we're going to pop head off if it will come off shaky cam so we get that and we'll put this down there and we'll do the unmasked Adam head 
that doesn't really sit on there. You just kind of push down and it doesn't sit on there too nice. Um, and this looks pretty good. I, I think the other Atom head sculpt that we got looks better. But this works. I think it looks pretty good. I think I will display like the with the with the bandanas because I think that actually looks a lot better. Not bandana, the headbands. I've been saying bandanas this whole time, but I think that looks pretty good. I, I think they've done better with Adam, but you know it certainly doesn't look bad. And then here we have like the, the ninja mask look, and again these heads don't really pop on there. This one felt a little bit more sturdy. But I think that right there is a really, really great look. You guys let me know down below. Are you guys going to do the, like the half mask or are you guys going to do uh, the headband look? Because either way, I think they actually look really good. Moving on to blue. Okay, so taking a look at Billy, the power coin logo, the wolf looks really good. The mask head sculpt is the same. You know, the eyes look a little bit different. Uh, but in terms of paint apps, you know, I, don't, I really don't have any problems again because I got a chance to really look at them and... Um, and go over them and make sure. Um, it looks like, if anything here, where I said that, oh, these panips all look pretty good, a little bit of missing gold paint there, but not a big deal. Otherwise, overall, they they do look pretty good. Um, he, it's really noticeable on blue when you look at like the elbows and the arms, because the elbows and the arms use a different type of plastic. I think the elbow, right, is a harder plastic, whereas the, the arms are going to be a little bit of a softer plastic. The shades um, of colors aren't always going to be an exact match. You see that with a lot of greens and things like that. Um, it's pretty noticeable on blue, as you can see there, whereas the elbow looks like a lighter color. The knees are probably going to be kind of a similar thing. You could see it a little bit in the knees. You know, black wasn't so much an issue. Pink... Not really a whole lot either, oh, maybe a little tiny bit, uh, but white is where it's going to be pretty noticeable as well, and we'll take a look at that, but let's pop this head off. These heads are not all that easy to pop off either, the way they do these dumbbell joints. Not a big fan of that. We'll put this, this collar piece on there, get the bandana look. Ooh, see, look at that. A head that finally popped on. Now, Billy. Does that look like Billy? Hell no, I don't think so. Maybe from certain angles. Mm, yeah, maybe there. Uh, but I, I don't I don't think this is the greatest Billy head sculpt. Um, it might be the better. I'd have to go back and kind of take a look at, like, Metallic, which I actually have handy. Um, Metallic might win it a little bit, but... Either way, they don't look the best. I always thought Billy looked the oldest, too, from all of the actors. I don't know how his age was compared to the others, if he was younger or older. But I always thought he kind of really looked the oldest. Um, but for whatever reason, I think Hasbro just has a very difficult time getting his likeness right. There's a little bit of wobbliness in there. So it's just, uh, you know, you wish for more. I, I mean, I could see Billy there, but that's not... That's not a whole lot. Um, I saw some with really bad paint apps around the headband as well, like all over the face and into the eyebrows. So those are definitely what the things that you got, you need to to really watch out for. Then here's like the half mask, and that ah, that doesn't pop on either. What is? I mean, look at that. That's the way that ball peg that peg hole in there. It just God. Why is it so deep in there? It like doesn't force down enough. I mean, I guess that's on there, but oh, terrible. So really got to watch out from there. But that right there is a pretty good look. You know, you can't really tell it's Billy because it's all half face anyway. But I think I think that looks pretty good. I really like the way that looks. On to white. Okay, so here is where we're going to see the biggest difference in some of the whites and things like that. Now this rubber overlay um, is difficult. Now, some of them can have a very dirty look, almost like a, the gold paint, like, rubbed into the, the rubber um, and just kind of gave it this, like, brown look to it. So, be on the lookout for that. White seems to have been the easiest to find since it was kind of the first. Black and blue, I'm sure, will be in a, a very similar type of situation. Um, but that was kind of the biggest concern in paint apps that I had seen across some of the others, you know, with the gold lines as well. Uh, looking at the paint, look at the knees are much brighter white compared to the legs. That's going to be the same on the elbows as well. So that kind of sucks, but 
Not terrible. We get a black sash there instead of white like the other ones. Kind of the opposite there. These two look really good together. In terms of paint apps, uh, no real big issues. We get a black paint instead of white. Looks like a little gold smudge there. Nothing too serious on the sides or anything like that. So, not terrible. But let's pop that off. We've had uh, a large number of Tommy head sculpts. Um, let's see if this one's going to be the best one. It's probably not. So we've had some pretty good ones before. And no, I mean, I see it. I see what they did, um, but I don't think it's the best Tommy head sculpt. I think we've, they've definitely given us better with like the first one. Um, and then the one with uh, the Green Ranger, I think we're better. Now, th I mean, I could see it and stuff, but I, I just, it's not the best. And you can see like little random paint spots kind of throughout the head sculpt. Only a lot of them have that. See a little bit of white going into his eyebrow there. And this is kind of the best one that I had seen. So imagine that that they all can be, you know, pretty damn bad. Some of the other QC issues I was talking about, see how this uh, bicep goes into that shoulder ball, how high up it is and how low this one is. Um, there's, they should be the same, um, but they're not. So, I mean, there's definitely some QC issues across on the, those arms. So, you know, be careful and watch out for those things. Tommy head sculpt, pop that off. And that one popped on nicely. I don't know why some of the other ones don't. This one probably won't. No, uh, yeah, this one, God. This one doesn't even go onto that peg. There it goes. You have to force it and you can kind of feel it, but that looks really good right there. That is a really good look. And if you ask me, yes, I could tell that that would be Tommy under there. That looks really good. Okay, so to go over articulation, I'm going to show you the three different male rangers to see like how their head sculpts move and like this you're not going to get really any movement out of there you can you can swivel to the side and stuff not a whole lot of pivot even though it's you know it's a dumbbell joint looking up yeah no looking down yeah no that's like nothing on that now with the bandana look you get some but the way that this like collar piece there is you're not really going to get him to look down you can get him to look up god only a little bit wow what a Look at that, and I just try to do a pivot and it just pops it right off. Um, so it's just, it's very lacking. You know, you get the swivel, of course, but it's just a disappointment all around. Uh, with the half mast look, um, you could do side to side swivel. And you can do maybe some pivot in there. Uh, looking up, no. Looking down, no. Not gonna work. Uh, pink. Let's see what we can do with pink. And I have the mask look. Oh, I, well, that's you just okay. So nothing. You get swivel. Otherwise, then you're just gonna pop the head off like it's nothing. Uh, Kimberly with the long hair. This obviously you're not gonna get any emotion. You can get a swivel. She's there's no way she could look up. Looking down. Mm, not really anything there. So um, if we look at like this. At the mask, full mask, same thing. Oh, actually, you can get her to look up a little bit. It goes down slightly, side to side. You can actually get some pivot on pink. So, that's a lot better than the guys, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to go over the articulation, but I forgot to point out a couple of things. Like, what the hell are these round spots on the side of the torso? The guys don't have that, so the female figures are going to be the ones to have it. That's ugly as hell. Like, what did they do? And that's on both sides. Like, why would they sculpt that in? It's weird, right? Makes no sense. Now, pink seems to be the most flexible out of the Rangers, or the female figures, at least, seem to be the most um, flexible. But it's difficult with this torso, because there is like a... Let's see. It's a ball joint piece at the waist, so you get a swivel in there. You're not really getting any side-to-side -side pivot or anything. There is an ab crunch, but man, it's with the rubber overlay, it's really hard to work that ab crunch. So that is a, a very unfortunate. Um, there is a butterfly joint in there, but you're not. It doesn't really do anything. So that sucks. You do get an upper bicep swivel in there, full rotation at the shoulder, double jointed pinless elbows. Um, mind you, that look great bent, but look like crap straight out. Like, look how small that elbow is. That's really bad. I hate when they do that. 
but you do get more range of motion, so I guess that's good, but it's ugly. Swivel at the elbow, I mean the, the wrist, um, and hinge. Legs go out that far apart, so you gotta be careful. Like this one works, like this one doesn't wanna go out as much. It's kinda stiff, you really wanna be careful. They actually do have the drop down legs, so maybe that will help in terms of some of the movement. But like here, like this leg, this hip, like seems turned something weird about this hip but you can kick forward uh, that much there is an upper thigh cut in there double jointed knee that is pinless and that actually doesn't look terrible because they are supposed to be baggier pants so that looks pretty good uh, there is a boot swivel so you get swivel at the calf there foot hinges all the way down hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet so pink has the best range of motion but the guys are probably going to be pretty lacking Okay, so here we'll, we'll take a look at blue in terms of the articulation. So you get a swivel at the waist. You're not really going to get any function out of ab crunch or anything like that because of that rubber overlay, which which really sucks. But, I mean, I appreciate how the look is. You can see we don't have that weird circle or anything like there on under the arm. Um, we have a functioning uh, butterfly joint. As you can see, you can get the arm to go back quite a bit there, which is great. Coming forward um, a little bit, not a whole lot. But I'm glad that we got that. You have a uh, shoulder, you get a full swivel at the shoulder. There is the upper bicep swivel in there, as you can see. And again, watch out, because some of them are lower or higher on that shoulder ball. Uh, pinless elbows, but we and we get a double bend, as you can see there. Um, and these ones, similar to female, the female figures, ugly elbow cut when you look at it from the side straight on. I guess it's not so much an issue. It's still quite large, um, but it still kind of sucks. Wrists swivel, and they do hinge and get the legs to go out that far apart. Again, you do have, I don't know if it's mine where the drop downs just really aren't functioning as much. So it's just these, the left hip piece on all of mine seems to just be really stiff and not want to function too well. But you can kick out pretty high on there. You have an upper thigh cut and a lot of these I'll have a real looseness at that swivel. Uh, pinless knees, you get a double joint there. That looks pretty good. You get a boot swivel there. Foot hinges all the way down. Hinge up slightly, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. But yeah, it's this, this left hip piece seems to be a problem like on all of them. So like this, I, I'm not getting any drop down and it's really like stiff. Yeah, I'm not really getting a drop down on the right either. Maybe it's just the female figures or maybe I just got crap ones where these drop downs don't hit. I mean, look how loose that leg, I'm about ready to pull this leg off. That's not good. Man, that sucks. Look how loose that one is. I may need to try and switch one out if I find another one because that's, that's bad. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of a drop down, but not, not really a whole lot. So it just, it really hinders the articulation quite a bit. Okay, to finish off the review, I know this is end, gonna end up being kinda long. I think I switched up the effect pieces for black and pink, whereas the Karate Chop one is actually with Adam. Um, and then the other swoosh piece actually goes on the foot <laughs> of uh, pink, so you can kinda do like kicking motion, kinda like white um, Tommy, as you can see there. So I kind of did that. I was trying to balance them all at first, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be badass. I'm gonna have them all balanced. Um, and then they're a pain in the ass to balance. Blue, actually, more so, whereas pink, I did get pink to stand up on its own for a bit, and then she fell over, and I'm like, damn it. Yeah, these figures, they're, they're a little bit wobbly. So it's just kinda, it's kinda tough. Oh, there we go, look at that. Look at that, let me back out a little bit. So you can, you, you can get them. Um, Fun, oddly enough, I'm having issues with blue. So this effect piece really doesn't fit on either of the fist or the other hand real well. It's just not secure. It's it's very loose on there. The fist, it won't even fit on there at all. So that one's one that's going to probably easily fall out quite a bit. So be aware of that as I try not to rock the table to throw off paint. Look at that. I got him. 
Um, so all in all, am I happy to have these figures? Yeah. Um, do I hate that they're $24.99 compared to $22.99 now? Technically, you know, they get upcharged because they're exclusive, which is a ridiculous thing to begin with. You know, the new ones, red, yellow, and the other pink will be $26.49 when they release because of the price hikes. So it all kind of sucks. Um, I think they look really good. They don't move as nicely as I would like. Um, and the QC issues really hurts. Like, you know, I got lucky that I was able to find some that look pretty good. Um, whereas it's going to suck for others that may not... Um, get be so lucky uh so it just really sucks you know whatever i don't understand what happened when it came to these you know with all the issues in the uk issues here i think even um lightning fig pr on twitter or toku topics on on youtube i think his tommy had two two left fists instead of a right fist which is crazy so those stupid qc issues it really takes away from what could be a potentially good figure um, but it's still a little disappointing, but I think they will display nicely So whether you do certain type of poses like this mine will be vanilla pose on the shelf that, that I'll have them on So they'll look to good together that way um, But that's kind of it. So it again, it is it is disappointing But at the same time, I'm actually happy to have the ninjetti figures But I'm curious to know what you guys think Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on these figures. Have you picked them up? Have you had issues if you're in the UK? <laughs> rant away in the comments about what the hell happened because that was just bonkers like when all of that went down we're like what the hell is going on over there i hope we don't have that issue here we don't but we got those paint app qc issues galore which sucks but anyway if you guys like this video which hopefully you did i know it's long um, but if you like it hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so and as always thank you for watching